a playmaking rim protector. The build that can play every position one through five. A build that can dribble with a 98 speed flying across the court at a center's height. While being able to soar past and over defenders while unlocking contact dunks. On top of all that, it can still be very consistent from three while forcing defenders to step up. Not to mention this build can get takeover in two plays. But the best part of it all this build is the rim runner stopper contesting blocking and snatching anything in its path no matter what the build it's up against this is the playmaking rim protector What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger video. And in today's video, I finally have another build for video for you guys. If you guys enjoy the build videos, make sure to drop a like, because I have been in the build system going crazy, and I do have a couple other ideas. Also, don't mind this big mascot, by the way. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. But anyways, this is my playmaking rim protector. Yes, this is what I call my new build. It's a playmaking rim protector, and I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of this build why this is a really good build the badges with this build the animations for this build how to make this build and of course the 99 stats for this build we're gonna start with showing you guys the 99 stats and why this build is so good now the build you're looking at right now is my build at 99 overall which is the play making rib protector now whether you're a guard, a center, a lock, whatever you are, this build could work for you. And I'm serious. I, I'm talking about if you want to play center on the threes in the stage of the park, you want to play lock, you want to play guard on the twos, you want to sit corner on the twos, you want to play the one score, whatever you want to do, this build could work for it. And if you hate the paint defense in this game and you hate all these rim runners, this build is going to help you a lot because this is the playmaking rim protector. Now, if you see the stats, we do get contact dunks with an 85 dunk, 81 one layup 88 close shot very good driving stats right 67 three-pointer 72 mid-range we could definitely shoot that three ball with this build 80 ball handles so we unlock all the dribbles in this game except for a couple of them that you need at 85 but there's only like one or two of those and then look at the defensive stats 87 perimeter defense 87 lateral great rebounding stats pretty high interior defense a 98 speed Guys, this build is max wingspan and is six seven and a quarter. And we have 98 speed, 96 excel, 82 vertical, 99 stamina with rim protecting takeover. This build can literally do it all. And I'm gonna show you exactly how glitchy this build is with the gameplay that we're about to show. Then, like I said, we're gonna be showing you how to make the build. And then my bad is the animations, all that good stuff. But first, let's get into the gameplay. So make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's hop straight into this video man let's get it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Now, I'm going to be showing shooting clips, finishing clips, and defensive clips, and I'm going to sprinkle in some dribbling clips that you will see throughout the clips I show, and we're going to show one little gameplay snip. Now, before we get into these clips, all of these clips are from my Twitch streams. I stream live on Twitch sometimes at Double H on Twitch, or I stream live on YouTube sometimes right here. So make sure to turn on notifications on my YouTube to get notified when I go live or upload a new video, or go follow my Twitch link will be in the description and once again this build is for my last video so if you want to see more gameplay of it go watch my last video link will be in the description and another reminder before we get into these clips remember this build can be used for any court it can iso on the twos it can sit corner on the twos it can play center on the threes it can play lock on the threes it can iso on the threes it can play on the 1v1 core it can play on in pro am at the four or whatever you want it to play at this build can do anything but most of these clips that i'm going to be showing probably 95 percent of them are going to be on the 1v1 court but anyways let's get into it so I'm gonna start with some shooting clips right here. Look at first shot, step back, one legged shot. We're going crazy. Look at how fast this build is moving. I have a 98 speed on a 6'7. You guys gotta remember, most center builds are like 6'8 in this game. So I'm just as tall as any other center because I'm 6'7 in the quarter. Look at me shooting over people as a playmaking rim protector. I mean, look at this. I can shoot very consistent. There will be games where I'll put a 5'4, even 6'3 sometimes because this build is just that glitchy. Look at me shooting over another defender because I'm so small. Look at me, or so tall. Look at me on the threes, shooting over somebody else as well and i'm playing center on those clips 
This guy's getting sauced up. I don't know where he's even running to at that point, but he gets 23 out. Another more shooting clips right here. Look at this dude. Watch this. Watch this. He thinks I'm shooting at. Oh my God. Where is he going? Also, notice how fast the dribbling is on this build. I mean, look at me. I can momentum spam. I can really do any of the dribble moves in the game. Like I said earlier in the video, that's another green. Um, Bro, rim takeover makes you so much faster too on offense. It's a very good defensive takeover, obviously, because it is a defensive takeover, but it actually, this rim Rim take and lock take make you more faster than any other takeover does in the game, okay? So that's something to note. Now, look at the shooting, though. Like, I'm telling you, it's consistent. You can really pull with confidence. A lot of these guys are guarding me because they know I can shoot. They're not just leaving me open, right? Look at me. I'm spamming dribble moves. I go and back out to the three. That's green, right? And I get the most unblockable dunks on this build. I'll show you guys the dunk packages at the end of the video. Look at me. A 360 contact? That is crazy. Unblockable dunks. I got crazy good dunk packages on. I can also get contact dunks on this build as well i'm not showing every all the clips i have because i only recorded for a certain amount of time and of course we have very good defensive clips as well you know i get a lot of stops we're going to be showing more of those in a second here but like i said bro this build is glitchy look at me look at how fast i'm moving around the court this is not normal athletic dunk packages as well i'm going to the rack they're never blocking those dunks. Now, look at the defense, okay? I told you I was a playmaking rim protector. Because it's a playmaking rim protector. Snatch block on a double jump because I have gold pogo on. This build is the rim runner stopper. It's going to get the... Oh, by the way, how did I just make that three? This build is so glitchy. This is the rim runner stopper. It will protect the paint at all costs. I have gotten so many snatch blocks on this build more snatch blocks than i've ever gotten on any previous build ever before i mean look at the defensive animations i'm getting in the paint and also noticing these clips after i get a block how much my takeover goes up like look at i almost have team take on the ones because hall of fame rim protector plus rim protector takeover is the fastest takeover you can possibly get in the entire game look at me clamping up dudes in the post showing this snatch block again i mean oh my god that was so dirty that was so nasty easy dunk it's really not fair sometimes this guy's on cold going to the rack trying to rim run no bro you're not people are not going to get these contested layups on you and then it's going to show open that doesn't happen people are also going to miss a lot of dunks against you on this build you're not going to get bullshit. If you're guarding, look at, look at that block. That is a crazy block animation. If you're guarding someone correctly, it's not going to show open. It's not going to show 10%. It's going to be a heavily, at least a high yellow, or it's going to be a block, or they're going to miss. By the way, look at the dribbling. Like, <laughs> it's just not fair how fast I'm moving on this build with this good of a defensive build while being able to shoot this well at this size and this frame. Like, it's simply not fair the defense the dribbling the finishing the shooting is too crazy for this build now i'm going to show a little gameplay right here i pulled up on the ones court right i'm down 17 to 0 so if you guys think oh this is just a defensive build look at how lethal my offense is i get the ball i'm down 17 to 0 this dude didn't think i could shoot boom hit a three now i got three points easy rim run 17 to 5 easy boldly ball as well like i said i'm i'm a tall build i can easily get buckets in the paint i'm taller or just as tall as most centers in this game because a lot of centers are 6 8 look at 17 to 11 easy rim runs he jumps easy layup i have enough finishing badges for that i'm tall enough for that he's sagging off the three big three 17 16 i get takeover snatch bag another green i can shoot consistent even if you're guarding me that high 17 19 easy dunk and just like that we can win the game in an instant if you give me the ball so not only is this build lethal on defense but you can give this build the ball and not see the ball again but anyways let's hop into how to make this build Okay, y'all, it is finally time. We are in the build system. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this playmaking rim protector demigod build that can literally play just about any position on any court and do whatever you need it to do, okay? Now, this is going to be a power forward position. Uh, yes, because we need well, for this build, I pick rim protecting takeover, which you can't get at small forward shooting or a point guard. And center is just not as good as power forward. So we're going with power forward. 
You can go left or right hand. It does not matter. Jersey number one for Derrick Rose. And we on to the pie chart. Now, there's a lot of different pie charts to choose from. Now, with this pie chart, I wanted to still be able to dribble on this tall build. But I didn't want to lose my defense at the same time. So, we are going with the regular half red half yellow pie chart now when it comes to the physicals we want to be as fast as possible and we do want to be able to get that 98 99 speed on this build and the way you're going to do that is to go with the speed pie chart the first one so go ahead and choose that now on to the upgrades now on xbox which is where i made this build on y'all know i play both xbox and playstation i had a bunch of extra badges to put on this build now i'm going to assume that some of you guys have zero extra badges to put on your build now if you didn't know you get one extra badge point every season you hit level 39 so i'm going to make two different versions of this build depending if you have extra badges like me or no extra badges so if you have a ton of extra badges, this is how exactly how I made the build. So first off, I went ahead, max the defense rebound, max the block, max the ladder quickness, max the perimeter defense, max the interior defense. We already have 60 defensive badges and look at how good everything is uh, upgraded well out. Now, if you guys watch the gameplay, don't worry about the steal. I know it's low, but I still get hella steals. What I learned in this game is as long as you got badges, you do not need a good steal rating, except like, especially if you get in lanes and you have an interceptor on and if you blitz people you know how to play good defense you don't need steel and it's just not worth upgrading when it comes to this build offense rebound to a 77 and now that's going to give us 20 defensive badges and even if i go down one on any of them it'll give me 19 defensive badges so that's how you know we have maximized the amount of badges we can get on defense now we're going to move on to the playmaking definitely want to max that ball handle max that pass accuracy we're going to max the post control and that's going to give us 19 playmaking badges we're going to go down one and if we go down one, that'll give us 19. If we go down any further, it'll give us 18. So 19 playmaking, 20 defense. This is very good so far. But now we're moving on to the finishing and the shooting. Now with the finishing, I do want limitless takeoff. I do want a couple extra badges. So I'm going to max the driving dunk, max the driving layup, and max the close shot. Put down the close shot a little bit so we have six finishing. And that's going to give us six finishing badges right there. If we go down any further, we have five. So we have definitely maximized the amount of upgrades we still have available now when it comes to shooting now this is where i perfected this build if you have extra badges now what i learned is it takes the most amount of attribute upgrades to get a shooting bad on badge on this build so if you have extra badges available after you make your build you may as well lower the amount of shooting badges you make on the initial build so that's what i did so i maxed my three-pointer i went ahead maxed my free throw went ahead maxed my mid-range and put my post fade to a 35 which gave me six finishing i also put the extra one upgrade to steel which isn't going to do anything which is going to give us a badge count of six six 19 and 20. now i have a bunch of extra badges so i ended up getting like 11 shooting badges um and even i put an extra badge on uh, defense as well in my opinion you really only need like nine or ten shooting to be able to shoot on this build but if you do have extra badges make the build just like this if you don't have any extra badges then what you're going to want to do is probably lower some of these stats. I made a couple adjustments, and this is about how I would make the build if you had no extra badges. Now, it's very easy to get these other finishing badges. To be honest, you only need two, but if you lower it even a little bit, bro, it goes straight to one. If you upgrade it a little bit, it only takes like two upgrades to just get it up a little more. So that's going to give us five finishing right here. It's going to give us the max you can get is nine shooting on here as well. To prove it, look at max it out, nine shooting. You're going to have to deal with nine shooting badges, which trust me, that is more than enough to shoot on this build okay and a lot of the clips i showed i wasn't even maxed out yet 19 play making still the way to go if you want to lower this a little bit you can do that as well but it, it gets low fast when it comes to the badge count 17 defense more than enough you even have a couple extra that you could throw around here to maybe put on the steal or offense rebound it really doesn't matter but this is still a very good badge count for this build 5 9 19 and 17 will still work just fine now i'm back on the screen where i this is how i made the build right now another thing to note is that depending on how you make this build it can really be anything you want it to be it could be a center on the threes it can be a center on the twos it can sit corner on the twos it can run iso on the twos it can run on the ones it can really do whatever you want. It can run iso on the threes it can do whatever you want it to do one to five whatever game mode you want it to play on it with and that's what's so special about this build so 
you can change these upgrades around depending on what you're willing to get out of the build i think this build is very special if you'd like to be a tall iso build or even if you're a center that likes the dribble this is very good for you too but anyways let's move on body shape it really doesn't matter it's up to you i went with compact now the height i am on the metric system make sure to go ahead in your settings and change it from imperial to metric if you're not already on metric because it is going to give you an extra quarter of an inch on your build so we're going to go ahead put it to the minimum which is going to be 2.01 meters which is going to be six foot seven in a quarter uh so yeah you're going to be a little taller than usual and look at the stats the stats are trying to are starting to look very good we're going to move on go to minimum weight upgrade it a little bit until that acceleration or speed goes down there you go so 85 kilograms is the money spot right here and then the wingspan i went with max wingspan okay some of you might not go max wingspan but i wanted to make this build the ultimate rim running stopper okay getting every block in the paint rim protecting takeover getting takeover super fast by getting all these blocks and very good contestant playing great defense and that's what i'm gonna do especially with the driving dunk i'm gonna get a bunch of contact dunks with this build so i went with max wingspan i know i could shoot with that low three i went with max wingspan and look at these final stats now obviously this build is going to be absolutely insane at 99 overall especially if you have a couple shooting sleeves the final stats for me 85 driving dunk 81 driving layup that is going to give us contact dunks uh 72 mid-range and a 65 three-pointer if you have some sleeves on you can get up to a 67 three-pointer which is literally the same three-pointer as a two-way playmaker which is very good ball handles an 80 so you basically unlock every drill move in the game except for the couple different moves that you need an 85 at defense is absolutely crazy for a 6-7 max wingspan build 85 defensive rebound 74 offensive rebound 78 block 87 lateral 87 perimeter and a 63 interior defense is actually very high for this game for not being a super tall build anyways we're gonna go on and by the way the physical is we're gonna get a 98 speed 82 vertical and 96 acceleration that is crazy good anyways we're gonna move on and you get a bunch of takeover options so if you want playmaking making takeover break some ankles with this playmaking rip protector build go ahead and do so you want more contact dunks go ahead and pick slash and take please do not pick glass takeover though i could really go in depth on why glass takeover in my opinion is the most overrated takeover in the game but I don't, we don't have time for that okay pick rim protecting takeover this plus hall of fame rim protector will be absolutely insane combo it's like running flashy passer to us to a shooter okay you're gonna get takeover super fast even off one block and then maybe like a shot or a dunk or something so rim protecting takeover and this is gonna give us that playmaking four name and what i like to call the play making rim protector now let's go ahead and look at the badge count and all the animations and that good stuff now we're looking at the build right here now you guys saw the 99 overall stats earlier in the video and yes i do have two shooting sleeves on and no i have actually never played on this build with full shooting sleeves because the second one just came out in season seven so i haven't gotten the chance to play on with that other shooting sleeve but these stats are crazy ladies and gentlemen you gotta think about this for a second i am a six seven max wingspan player that gets a 98 speed are you kidding with contact dunks basically all the dribble moves these these kind of defensive stats with rim takeover and you're still able to shoot at anywhere on the court but anyways we're gonna go ahead look at the badges that i have on right quick now i have six finishing i went ahead and put silver on all of these because gold limitless doesn't really do anything too special until you get to the hall of fame range so i went with this now if you only have four finishing just do silver limitless and silver post riser shooting bad is a lot of you guys are only going to get nine so go ahead and take off dead eye and go ahead and take off green machine those are probably the two worst badges on here these are the only badges you need gold hot zone gold sniper silver stop and pop and bronze lucky number seven those are the most important badges make sure you get your hot zones too they will help a lot now what the playmaking bad is i'm sure all of you picked 19 hall of fame quick chain hall of fame quick first step hall of fame handles for days bronze unplugable is the only thing you need if you're not on the ones make sure to run silver bullet hall of fame tight handles with this build bro you really gonna be stunning people now if you even wanted to go lower on the playmaking badges to put badges somewhere else you can go 15 and not use tight handles and that would be enough for you but anyways going on to the defense i have 21 most of you have 20 the extra badge i put on this season i think was i'm pretty sure it was chase down usually you, you can have run chase down on bronze but now i have it on silver silver clamps bronze ball stripper gold rebound chaser hall of fame rim protector 
make sure you're running that. Gold Pogo Stick is very underrated. That's the big thing about this build. Make sure you're running Gold Pogo. I, a lot of the Snatch Blocks you saw in the clips was on my second jump of me just spamming Y getting a Snatch Block. Gold Pogo is the money spot. Don't run Silver. Don't run Bronze. Don't run Hall of Fame. Run Gold to make the most use use of your badge uh upgrades silver interceptor is enough silver intimidator is enough like i said bronze chase sounds enough i have a silver on silver brick wall if you want to set screens or if you want to get this also helps if you're getting back down to the post look at the description a lot of people don't notice this brick wall is not just only for setting screens please read it says increases effectiveness of screens comma is tough to back down in the post and drains energy from opponents on a physical contact so yes if someone is backing you down and you have brick wall on they will their energy will drain faster and it'll be harder to back you down in the post and it'll take longer for them to do that silver clamps as well to be honest i'm probably gonna go bronze chase down and go gold clamps right here ball strippers very good on bronze do not run that any higher but yeah this is the best defensive setup for this a hundred percent those are my badges right there now the animations i run on this build we got these are the dribble moves i run on this build now sometimes i will run kobe or i mean uh, donovan mitchell instead of kobe bryant really does not matter too much to me these are the dunk packages. Trust me, you use these dunk packages. The most unblockable dunk packages. Link will be in the description for my jump shot. This is the fade and hop jumpers I use. But yeah, that's really all the details you need to know after making this build. If you guys enjoyed today's video, or if you guys want more build videos, or if you guys want more gameplay of this build, by the way, I have more gameplay of this build in my most recent video. Make sure to drop a like on the video, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm definitely going to be using this build a lot more often now because it's actually a very fun build to use. Uh, definitely a very glitchy build. Definitely a build I haven't really seen anybody use. I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe y'all have seen some dude rim protecting takeover, dribbling around the court 100 miles per hour. I'm not gonna lie i have not seen that yet but anyways the summer content battle be lit it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace